fall apart once again. What you say. I love this song. So never tell, but I know you too well. Kind of mood that you wish you could tell. Oh my God. I'm 17 years old and I'm from New York City. Yes, Celia. Were you born and raised in New York City? I was born and raised in New York. I love New York. I spent 15 years of my life there and, and I feel like you have such a power. Your range, it was your storytelling. You started the song kind of like Adele kind of vibe and then you like soared. I felt some Florence in there, some Fiona Apple, but you also sounded like your own person as well. I feel like you. you're like nobody else that's gonna be in the competition and you're gonna do so well. Thank you, John. I told the audience, I said, I, I hear cowboy boots. Those are boots. <laughs> And I love they're, country, though, so they're you're not wrong. Those are actually, you can hang drywall in those things, man. Those yeah, things are, yeah. I love it. There you go. Your performance was literally captivating. And Thank you. I know that I'm the odd man out here, but <laughs> I got to tell you that I hit my button because I think you're a champ. Sometimes when I hear something that is completely out of my area of expertise, but I still think that they could be a champion of this show, I got to hit my button. I believe in you. I think you're incredible, sis. Thank you, Blake. <laughs> I literally tweeted about this song. And the fact that you sound completely different than her, yeah. it's so rad. I have that song on my list. We always make, I make lists because I'm a nerd. Um, but I make lists of songs like, like my future, whoever's going to be on my team, of songs that maybe I want people to do. So you've ruined it. It's, sorry, not, it's sorry, off the list now. <laughs> How old did you say you were? 17. 17? My 17-year-old daughter is the one who sent it to me. And that's how I found out about the song. My daughter is two and a half, and <laughs> she highly recommends you sing Let It Go next time. <laughs> <laughs> it is my dream for you to win The Voice. It's just time for somebody to be a different type of winner for the show. And you know, John mentioned Fiona Apple. We're missing a Fiona Apple right now. Yeah. There's a certain kind of intensity and a certain kind of raw power that singing can have. You embody all of that from the way you perform, the way you sing, what you sing, how you sing it, the choices that you make. You are the future as far as I'm concerned. Thank you. I would like to piggyback on that. My cat died today and... <laughs> <laughs> and I, really and true. I really he think even have a cat. <laughs> this could really help brighten my day. Uh, I love you. If you were to pick me as your coach. What's your cat's name, Blake? Was. <laughs> was Sandy. <laughs> you met Sandy. You know Sandy. That's right. You knew Sandy. Well, I think oh, I, I, I think yeah, Celia I has narrowed it down. So, so, <laughs> it worked. Does that work? Is your coach? Um, okay. Um. I pick 